Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous tutorial, I mean till now we have completed the sign up, sign in form uh, using the SQL server and we store the information in the database. Now also we add the, uh, on the home page, we retrieve and display all the information of a user here on our home page. Now in this tutorial, we will work on the update user information, okay. So here basically uh, whenever the user ch uh, do changes in the uh, account settings or you can say here his profile information that is name, password, email, country then when he click on this button we will uh, update the information here in the database okay. So yeah let's do that. So here we need to first get the text whenever or whatever the text is written here I mean when user type or do changes so we have to get the text from here so for that here we need to create event listener first of all for this button double click on this button and it will create this event listener for that button which is btn update info so here we can first let create string type variable and we will store the input from this text wheel inside the string variables so let's give it a name as new username which is txt name home dot text and let's copy paste this the second one is the new user email txt email home Now first we have to validate that these strings are not empty okay so we can say if new username dot is dot equals to null then we have to uh, tell the user to please fill this field please write your name now the same we will do for the uh, remaining fields so let's change this to new user email copy paste this here so if this is empty we can say please write your email and let's do it for all the fields and change this with user password this one with country So if everything is okay then we can proceed and store the data inside the database. So for that first uh, let's create a query for that update then table name which is users if I show you then here you can see this is the users and make sure we will now using this column names okay which is name, email, password and country. So first we want to set the name column so we can say name equals to put single quotation here and after this double quotation add concatenation sign plus then pass the new user name here then again uh, this concatenation sign plus and after that we can put double quotation then single quotation put a comma here and then we have another column email equals to single quotation then again double quotation and then add concatenation sign plus and after that we have to pass the new user email then again plus double quotation single quotation put comma and then we have password column in the database which we want to update with new password for the specific user who is signed in password equals to single quotation then this double quotation add concatenation sign new password plus double quotation single quotation comma country equals to single quotation double quotation plus pass the new country user country plus double quotation single quotation now we are uh, referencing to the user who is already logged in so we will be doing these changes using that id who is logged in that is let's say in this case I am signed in so my ID is 1 ok so uh, it is already stored here if I show you above then on the edit form 
we are already retrieving it i mean which is uh, just like we retrieve the name and email password country form from the sign in form we can do the same for the uh, id of that user at the time when a user sign in into this app if i show you then we uh, already here on our sign in form here you can see string id and we are basically storing it at the time when users sign in i hope you remember all these things okay so it is stored inside this id variable here so yeah let's uh, complete this so on our home page here we can say now where id equals to which is basically our id column okay single quotation double quotation plus and we can say sign in which is our sign in form and there we have a variable which is sign in id in which we store the id of the user who is going to sign in and after that plus double quotation single quotation and then again double quotation so this is our query for updating the user information so whatever the changes uh, user do here in the information which you display here on the home page if a user change any information then we will replace or you can say update that new information in our users table and we will uh, store it for that specific user according to their id that is let's say in my case if i am signing my own account which is mohammed ali then it will uh, store all the information uh, or you can say replace or update all the information uh, in the database and it will be displaying after that on our home page here i will show to you guys now so let's complete this let's execute this query now we want to make this uh, make this private i mean uh, let's add a privacy to our information which we are going to update okay so we can also just directly execute the query through the uh, data adapter which we use on the sign in form okay read data through adapter which is uh, the most easiest thing to do to update the to update the data in the database but we will be using the same concept which we use here on our sign up form okay where we add a privacy to all the data which is storing which we are sending from here to the database so in order to do that what we are going to do is add uh, add here at the rate with all the uh, values here okay with all the variables which you are sending okay at the rate at the rate new user password and also here to the country at the rate and also this is the sign in id so there is no need to add the we are not storing the id the id will remain the same for the user okay for that specific user so yeah that's it now let me check once again yeah everything is okay now just for the time saving i'm going to the sign up form and i'm going to copy this thing okay the same concept which uh, we use here which is through the sql command so what we are going to do is uh, first come here to the home page and here we can say sql command now first of all we have to uh, add here the sql client so we can say using or we can just copy paste it from the sign up page okay system dot data and system data sql client copy it and let's paste that here now come down here and here we can say sql command we can give it a name as uh, update command new sql command and in here we have to pass our query just like we did for the sign up if you remember okay sorry for that which is our this query which is stored inside this string type variable so after that come here and let's copy paste this from here and we will change it according to our needs okay so copy it from here up to this else from the sign up page now let's close this sign up and come back to the home page and let's paste all that code here on our uh, home page so now all we're going to need is to copy this update command and remove this insert command and replace with it okay now we are updating all our information so also here now all we're going to need is to pass here these new variables okay so this is new username so for the username it is this for the email 
it is new user email and for the password it is new password the last one is the country so let's add that here too now come here above and we need to uh, create an object of our dbxs class to execute the function which is already here there on the dbxs so we can say db access obj db access equals new db access now by using this object we can say object db access dot execute query which is our update command okay so it will update the data so if it is equals to one then we can say replace this with uh, we can say account information updated successfully and if this is okay then what we are going to do is we are going to send the user to the login page to log in again in case if he change his uh, email or password okay so you can say sorry it is the name of that form is sign in okay so you can say sign in and here also sign in and let's give it a name as sign and sign dot show that's it and if any error occur then we can uh, just display this message so yeah let's uh, run the app to see if it is working or not so the app is running now successfully let's me write the email address then my password one two three four five six and let's log in it says congratulations and here you can see this is my information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change my name to uh, mohammed ali zeb and then my email let's say i'm going to change it to ali at the gmail.com and password to seven at also one two three four five six seven eight and country to let's say pakistan now before i press this button uh, i want to show you the database here you can see this is the information which is the old info okay now i'm going to press update and here you can see account information updated successfully press ok and it send us to the login screen if i come here to the database now let's refresh this i mean click this execute button here and here you can see we have the information is updated successfully now you can see this Mohammed Ali Zeb, then my email changes to gmail.com password is from 1 to 8 now and country is changed to Pakistan. So you can see it is working fine. I mean, this is incredible. And also, if I go back now, I'm going to uh, log in using my new email and then my new password. If I click login, it says, Congratulations, you are logging successfully. And here we go. Here you can see it's uh, I'll display my information here successfully. So, yeah, that's it for this video. And see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.